I'm Kevin Gosling, and I am Canada's first anonymous live liver donor. There were some circumstances around me where I knew somebody that was donating uh, a kidney to a family member, which got me thinking about organ donation, which I hadn't really given it much thought. And then, uh, so I started to look it up on the internet and find out a little bit more information for it. And when I did, I found out about liver donation and the fact that it regenerates. And I, at the same time, I also found out how bad the statistics were. How many people were waiting up to 10 years to get an organ? And many of them on that seniority list, if you like, don't make it to the top of the list because they become too sick. So it moved me into starting to thinking, well, what about these people that don't have a family member that can donate? And I started thinking, I'm healthy. I could do it. You know, it was just an idea. Right? So I thought, I'm going to find out more about it. And uh, so I naively started contacting some hospitals and they said, I'm sorry, we don't do that. You have to be a family member or a very close person. Uh, we just don't do that. And I was a little bit disappointed because naively I thought, hey, I'll contact them Friday. They'll say, come Monday, we've got 10 people here who want it, right? But it wasn't like that at all. It was very complicated. And I grew over time to understand why they were apprehensive to do it. But I did finally get one of the hospitals to say, well, we've never done it, but we'd be interested in at least talking to you about it. And that started something that took, oh, probably over a year worth of discussions and medical tests and interviews with seven surgeons, a, num a psychiatrist, a, a bioethicist, two of them and a, a huge amount of questions. Basically, they, the, the other hospitals, they thought you were a crazy person? I don't know if they thought I was crazy. It's just that there's been so many lawsuits of people trying to pay other people for doing it. Certainly, that's one of the questions they asked me, but I was donating anonymously. And my thought was that if I took somebody off of that seniority list, everybody else in the lineup would move up at least one, and that could make the difference for many of them of making it. You know, it, just, it started with a small idea, but then it got to be bigger, became more complicated, you know, and I became even more committed because of the need. Who got your liver and who did it save? Um, uh, how would I put this? Anonymous means anonymous. Yeah. You're not asking, but, and it was a year after my surgery that they decided that everything that had gone well, let's advertise it and see if we can get others to do the same thing. Sure. You were the poster boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was during that uh, uh, weekend that they decided to put it in the papers and put it on TV. It was, it, it was a really good, feel-good story, right? So everybody wanted to do it. But at that uh, session with all the cameras and everything else, they hand me a letter that was from the family that got my liver. And it's no names. They just talked about their child and how bad the illness was that he had and, uh, and how thankful they were. The condition that he has, I don't remember the name, um, was that he was not allowed to eat any protein at all. It could kill him. So he was severely ill, a lot of medications, and the way the family described it, he was never allowed to have a hot dog or a hamburger or go to McDonald's or like birthday parties, he wasn't allowed to have the food there. and so. The way they described it is now he can have all those things, you know, and that's a huge thing for a child. I got goosebumps here. Um, so you could tell, or it really did make you feel good that you made that kind of a change or an impact. And you do it all over again? Ah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It was a wonderful thing to do, and it did make you feel very good that you were doing something, you know, profound. Mm -hmm. And there is many times when you stop and think, you know, about it, but uh, I don't dwell on it or anything like that, you know, uh, it was quite a few years ago, you know. I did try to do it again, I wanted to do a kidney donation, but I had developed diabetes and so after that they, they would not take it.